Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Clips Gaming. It's your girl Asayo here. Today we're going to dive into Orbound. I've been watching a lot of this gameplay on Game Edge and Grill Master's channel and I'm excited to say that I wanted to dive in and take a shot at it myself. Um, so yes, I did take um, some time to go ahead and... Get to know the controls and the gameplay a little bit before I started recording. Um, so, I did get to just familiarize myself with the game a little bit, but that was it. Um, from what I've been told, this part is not in the demo. Um, from what I've heard, anyway. So, I just wanted to take a quick look and kind of explore it and see what all's here. Ooh. These. I'm assuming these are the same size as the benches that we'll be building. They look like it based on what I've seen. Ooh, what's down here? Can I jump in? <laughs> I can jump in. Cool. Okay. This looks like that's the metalworking room. Ooh, a tractor? I haven't seen these before yet. Okay. What's over here? Mm, big door. I can't interact with said door. Oh my gosh, I got the hiccups. Hopefully I can make him go away. And then... What's over here? Is this supposed to be an elevator? If I jump in there, it won't bring me up. Ooh -wee. Oh, There's an area down here. And there's stairs. Okay. It's like a big storage area. All right. <laughs> Looks like molten metal. Wow, that's legit. You can, like, totally explore this whole area. I wonder if they're gonna add anything that you can actually do in this area. <coughs> or if it's all just for looks to show you what you can do. Okay, where'd those stairs go? So I can go back upstairs. So now I gotta ride the blimp. Okay, so it takes me back up over right here. It looks like they're having an actual party or something. <laughs> Just look at this, this is nice. Oh look, and they've got a troubadour. Good music. And there's an upstairs. Ooh. Sorry, I know I'm taking just a moment to explore. I just genuinely am curious. Ooh, based on from what I recall, these are gold ore, or gold bars. These are ruby, emerald, and sapphire bars. Look at all their money. It looks like they've got 
Brawling Spires. And I can't tell which one's iron or silver, but it's one of the two. That's awesome. I think this really gives you an idea of how big your base needs to be. Relatively. Because I think the goal is to eventually make your own dwarven settlement similar to this one. But it's customized by you. Okay. Not sure what's supposed to be up here. I think these are bedrooms. They're quarters? Yeah. Probably. Okay. I think I've seen everything. I know there's one more room, um, but that room just has like the names of all the creators on it, and it looks like they have a lot more room for more creators. So I definitely feel like they're going to make a lot more content here. So we're going to do a new game. Jeez. Um, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Um, I did notice when I was learning the controls that there seemed to be an overabundance of enemies. Particularly the pigs. So if I have to, I might change the settings if possible. To just tone down that spawn rate, because that spawn rate was absolutely ridiculous. And I only spent like 20 minutes to get myself acquainted with the controls. Oh what, I'm not considered on the airship when I'm up there. So the moment I get up here, I'm not considered on the airship. Wow. Okay. You do you, game. Whatever floats your boat. <coughs> if you dig deep enough, you'll find the good stuff. I don't like digging deep. This game does have a bit of terraforming into it. It's not, like, excessive terraforming. Or just digging and putting dirt back. But you can still alter your world with it a bit. My cord is getting stuck on my microphone. Lovely. Can't wait till I have better recording equipment. It'll make it so things like that are a non-existent problem. We'll get there. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Beds are spawn points. Place them to change where you spawn. Okay. Wow, it's taking a bit to load. I noticed this too when I was uh, testing it out just to get familiar with the controls. It seems to... Uh, load a lot for that first bit, I think, because it's, like, generating the world for you. It's taking forever. Anywho, do you guys have any good recommendations for any new games coming up? I always love to hear them, and if possible, I'll apply them to my channel. Hey, look, it's raining. I always thought raining in games obscured it, but this kind of looks more like blizzard rain. Well, fun fact, my now husband, when we were dating in high school, yes, we are high school sweethearts, um, we would love the rain. It's our favorite place, particularly my favorite place. Poor guy, he's all cold. I love to kiss it in the rain. 
enjoy stuff like that. What the crap was that? Is there an issue? Is there a pixelation issue? I hope not. I hope there's somewhere flat that we can build from the get-go. So when I was learning the controls, whatever world I had been generated into the first time, oh my gosh, it was... That was not a nice world. I'll put it that way. What's this say? Three kings, three brothers, three kingly gems. Adventurer, you are tasked with seeking out three ancient relics of dwarven kind. Long ago, this land fell under our once great kingdom, but in recent times it has slowly dwindled away. You must seek out the three kingly gems of Elgorod, Gilgrom, and Thulgrim. Recover the royal gems of their birthright and save them from falling into the hands of our enemy. Combine them into a master room worthy of dwarven kings. Ward off those who oppose us and reclaim this land. Okay. So that's the storyline we follow. Now... Let's start gathering resources so we can possibly build ourselves our first base and get started. Oh gosh, it's going to attack me. How does it manage that when I'm like out of its range, it still somehow manages to get me? I, I don't understand this. Oh, I can't wait for pickaxe. Do, do, do. So this one is compatible with a controller, but as I learned the hard way when I was getting accustomed to the controls, it's not completely compatible. You, There's unfortunately a lot of functions with a controller that they have not synchronized yet to the game. And so things like opening up your inventory or um, transferring items from one box to another does not work um, with a controller. You have to use the keyboard. So for this game, I will only be using the keyboard, not a controller. Which is fine by me. I prefer a controller, but keyboard isn't the end of the world either. No. Don't really want to go in there, but I'll take the earth gem. And as I was exploring, um, just to kind of get a better feel of the controls and everything in this game, um, I did realize that there's goblins and orcs in there. Don't really want to fight them. And I don't mind showing like my first response and stuff like that, but I don't feel like everyone would want to watch me learn how to control my character and everything, which buttons to press and all that. I feel like that's boring to watch. But if you guys want to see more of that, let me know and I'll be glad to put it in. Otherwise, I'll just keep recording like this. Okay. I want somewhere flat. Let me go to the top of the hill and see where I'm at. Going up to the top of the hill, collecting as I go. Cause in any building survival game, you 
know the resources will flow. Um, there's a lot of mountains. Any place that might be... Maybe over there? It looks a little bit. Just gotta get past the big old trench. Okay, there's this buzzing. Like some kind of bug is flying by or something. But I can't see anything when it happens. It bothers me so much. It shouldn't bother me, but it really does. Um, can I make it to the other side without having to go down there? I kind of don't think I can. It kind of looks like this is like one of the only ways to get up, so. We'll do our best. Come on. Oh, no, don't tell me I'm stuck. No! Oh, lordy. I just wanted flat area to build. Because we got to start so we can get our weapons upgraded and everything. Come on. Kind of glad I haven't run into as many piggies this time. Last time it was horrible. There's a pig like every, I want to say, five seconds, and they would literally spawn one after another. You'd kill one only for like two to replace it. Well, it's not. Uh, I was hoping I'd have more flat area. Is it flat enough that I could at least establish myself, maybe, and then flatten it out as I go with terraforming? It's right next to a cave. Uh, there's a piggy. Um, why not? We can always move later if we don't like it. I like how close it is to these things. But it doesn't, no, never mind. I'm, I'm going to be indecisive here for a minute. I want to go scrape, scope out the land a bit more. Yep. Oh, I can't believe I made that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I totally thought I was going to die. Oh, okay. Well, I parkour skilled that. My little sister would be proud. <laughs> she loves parkour. She always comments that my kids are going to do parkour one day. That scares the crap out of me, because that can be dangerous, especially if it's done as a sport. Uh, this one's just a big hill. I mean, I technically could build, like, right here. Nah. If I don't find another place within, like, five minutes, we'll just yep. find the nearest flat area, and we'll settle. And we'll just terraform it. I guess, to turn it into what we want. I kinda really like down here though. Can I parkour it again? Nope. Holy cow. Ah! Oh, oh, I just barely survived that. Oh my gosh. Oh no! And there's things down here. Run. 
crap, how do I get out? I don't want to fight no goblins right now. I'm at five health. I'll take these though. Yep. 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 Well, I tried grabbing those, but I was running too fast. That sounds like something still chasing me. I'll get away. I need to heal up before I do much more of anything. I don't like how dark it gets. Well, I guess here's as good as any. So, I mean, guess we'll go for it. Yeah, there's enemies right there, but they can't be helped. They're everywhere. How may I help you? We must keep going. Yes, we must keep going, indeed. That is the motto. Well, I guess this is just where we're gonna build, so. Hopefully we're not interrupted, but I'm not going to hold my breath. And then we'll keep you close by. And I'll just start from right here. Let's see. How many did I do that wide? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna do seven long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on. Finicky snap. One, two, Seven by seven should be large enough. Based on what I've seen. At least to start off with, anyway. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that darn axe. I need more wood. Yep. Oh, come on. I'm definitely going to use some terraforming and cover up a bit of this entrance. It's too big. Don't need that much. Shit, shit, shit. What was that? Ah! Away. Crap. Oh, I need health. Oh, wait, don't I have that potion thing? Crap, he's still on my tail. Um. Okay, you bugger. Go bugger off. Bother someone else. Oh! Whoops. Maybe that trapped him. I have no idea. Maybe I should have killed him to begin with. I refuse to die. I'm too stubborn. Well, here he comes. Come 
Come on. That was to totally a waste of potions, but I don't feel like dying today. He followed me all the way out of the cave. How dare he? I suppose it's partially my fault because I invaded his territory first. <laughs> I just hope they don't respawn and then they seek me out just because they know I'm out here. I haven't seen that when I've seen others play through it, so I'm hopeful that, that won't be the case. I still don't have enough. Well, do I at least have an area big enough for the upgrade station, which is what we need to build? Looks like it. Oh, it's crooked. Uh-uh. Try this again. I don't do crooked. There we go. No, it's not. Have enough for this. And this. And then this. Then we'll go here. Welcome. Give me the money. And the money. Got the ore navigator. Use it to find different kinds of ore. Now I need to find coal. But first things first, I'm going to give myself more space. So, let's go like this first. Put it back. I don't need those out here right now. We'll put... Okay, fine. I have to drag. Put these here because I need them. Okay. And then for this, yep. hey. trapped. There we go. No. I did not mean to do all that. My leveling job went to haywire. Stop it! Why do you like to do an extra throw? We will fix this. Okay, let's fix this now. Properly. I did it just a little lower. Did I do it again? It was all nice and even, and then I had to go screw it up. I 
I just want it flat so I don't have to worry so much. About going places because I don't want to fall in. Okay, and I'm gonna fix up this area that I really foobarred over here. There we go. So I don't have to worry as bad about falling in. I really don't like how many holes there are here. I understand it's an ore game, but like, too many holes. <laughs> I'll fix this last bit up right here. There we go. Now I shouldn't have any issues. At least I hope. Okay, let's go chop down this tree. It's in my way. We'll pick up this rock that's in my way. Chop this tree. Pick up this rock. Gonna chop this tree. Chop this tree. Take that mushroom, chop this tree. Well, that one was quick. Take this. I think the immediate area is cleared enough. Because I know we're going to need some more buildings based on just a little that I saw over there. So, what was it? Fortress. And this. Some of you are going to probably get mad at me that they're not facing the same direction. Once upon a time, I cared about that. But it became too tedious, and so I learned to just ignore it. So ignore it, I shall. Come on. Okay. Now, let's do the ore finder. Let's select the ore that we need to find. It wants us to do coal. Yep. Right here? Okay. I thought it said there was coal. There's some. I thought there was more than that, jeez. Yep. There's some. I'm not seeing any more around here. Oh, there's some. 
I spoke too soon. <laughs> nope. Don't feel like falling down there. There we go. We'll just have to fix that up a little bit. I need to get higher. So that I'm not the one affected. There we go. not falling down again. I already got a lot of fall damage and had to waste a lot of health potions because it got me in trouble. I do not feel like going down there right now. I'll take that though. Uh, I need coal. I don't want to get sidetracked again. Well, there's iron. It's not what I want. I mean, I'm sure I'll need it. It's just not what I'm looking for right now. Just gonna fill it back up. Oh my gosh. Is it really that finicky? No, I only chose it once. It says there's more right here. see it. <sighs> no. I'm like burrowing way too much. Okay. I'm closing this up. I really don't want to be falling in things right around my base. Come on, I don't want to glitch out again. Okay. I'll flatten it out better later. Probably off camera. So you guys aren't bored by it. Just in places where I know I'm gonna fall. They really don't want to. Just gonna go like this while I got you guys. I'm not falling in. I 
Especially where those orcs are. Like, no thank you. That hole doesn't seem too bad. Here we go. Okay. Do I have enough coal? No, I've only got 46. <sighs> I hate to say it, but I might have to go down there. Oh, hi, piggy. Hold on. No, I need that. Okay, where'd the piggy go? I can hear it. I don't see it. Where is it? Whatever. Um, I'm gonna go this way. Right here? Oh my gosh. Oh, my chest hurts. I don't like jump scares. Um, anyway. It says there's coal here, so let's dig. Says that's iron, but that's not what I'm looking for. Just looking for coal like that. There we go. found it all. That goblin came out of nowhere. I didn't even hear it. I mean, I heard the piggy. I don't know why I couldn't hear the goblin. It just appeared out of nowhere and scared the bejesus out of me. Said we needed a hundred, so I hope we're getting close to that. How much do we have? Hey, look, we got a hundred. Okay, we're good. Um, and I am a little. Disoriented. Yep. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I will fix that off camera. Yep. For now, though, yep. we shall return here. How can I help you? We'll complete this. Oh, it says I need iron ore. I hear another pig. Somewhere. I need 
need more money though to complete more tasks and I saw a lot oops what did I just do wrong button haven't found any nodes thus far at least nearby found some of the beginning but not nearby I don't really want to wander at night it gets too dark I can't see what I'm doing and I could easily easily miss something or get myself killed one or the other I definitely want to make a lot of what oh, the fuck oh what the frick freaking 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 Ooh, where is it? Oh my gosh. There you are. Oh. This game's gonna give me a heart attack. That's what this game's gonna do to me. Oh my gosh. I get too focused. <laughs> oh, it was gonna be a death of me. <sighs> Gonna go see if I can find any nodes that are above ground nearby. Okay, it's just my footprint. Foot, foot, footsteps. Not any of theirs. I thought I saw some ores over here. Oh, where's my base though? I don't want to get lost. Leave it to me to get lost. Okay, it's right there. I said I could put a beacon thing so I don't get lost. Um, there you are. Yeah, stay stuck. You know, I'm half tempted to build a trench around my base just to keep things out of it. So, I said beacon what is the hot bar key it's shift plus hot bar key what Oh, there it is. <gasps> Why? Always do they have to get so freaking close? Appear out of nowhere. Scared the crap out of me. Yeah, I'm just gonna farm you guys, I swear. Give me your goods. Oh, my inventory's full. What can I get rid of? Here, we'll eat that. No, give me the rest of what you had. Well, let me finish building in peace! Oh, I need to put a chest down before I have a problem. The interior... There we go. Why does it only want to do... Really? There we go. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's... I'm gonna put my money somewhere safe. 
And then we're gonna put stone. Well, actually, these are building materials. So I'll keep those out. We'll put all the ores in there that are not needed immediately. Silver ingot. We'll put that in there. Don't really need those. Man, I definitely don't need that on me. <sighs> now I'm gonna put this down because I need to put some of those down. I'm sorry. I need light. Go there. Another one right here. There. And on the corner. Then on this corner. Um. Right there. Right there. And right there, and we can always move them later. But that should give me plenty of light for now to work with. Anyway, now let's go to the building. And I know it wants me to build a certain amount of things, but what does it want me to build? <laughs> the door of industry. This one. I need two doorways, five windows, and twenty walls. Okay. We will meet again. Uh, I think I'm gonna remove this. And we're gonna put a doorway. No, no, that was the wrong thing. Doorway. I'm gonna put one there, and then I'm gonna turn it this way because I'm gonna do another room this way. And then we'll go ahead and put some walls up. I need protection from those bums. They keep scaring the crap out of me, making me swear, and I'm trying not to. Oh. Gonna widen this a bit before I do more of that though. We'll widen it to here. Yeah, that should be good. Come on. There we go. So I can't have to put it right on the seam. In order for it to snap. Do do do. Gotta get more. And eventually what I want to do, um, especially with this game, is if we have to do a big fortress, I want it to look nice. Oh crap, did I double? I 
can only accidentally put it up. In both. Okay. And we'll go like that. And now, our walls, which will be a great relief to protect us. I do want to put a window right here, though. I'll put my window right there. And then I'm going to put walls there, there. I'm going to put a couple windows there. I'm going to do one right there and then there. So we're going to go like this. Then like this. And again, I'm sorry about my voice. I know I sound crackly and gross right now. But I'm just healing. I don't think I'll put another door right there. Oh, did I? Do I need to? Oh, I probably do. a window there window there window there gonna put another doorway here gonna put whoops another wall here oh what oh that's much too big. Not ready for those big walls quite yet. Put that there. Then we can go like this. Leave room for a window. Oh, is this thing in the way? Yep, it's in the way. These are in the way now. Oh! No! Whoops! Gotta fix that. I want to put another window here. And here. It looks like first I'm going to have to take that away. I'll put another window right there. No. I hope this is enough room for everything. Another window. No, not a door. I said window. Another one right there. And, um, I'm sorry, you're going to have to be moved too. I want to move you as well. I want to actually put you somewhere where it's safe to access you. And for now, that means you're going to be indoors. Right here. Because I really, really don't feel like fighting goblins just to talk to you. Then we're going to put a window right there. So, window. 
And now it looks like I'm gonna have to move this too. Which is fine. That's what this game's about. We gotta adapt to survive. And then, just for now, another door is gonna go right here. Oh, no, I said door. Why? Oh. It's because of that thing. And then, are there any actual door doors? Yes, there are. I would like to be safe in here, please. No unwanted... Goblin pests or orc pests, please. There we go. Welcome. Yay, and I completed that one. Oh, it wants me to make ten doorways? At least I'm on my way to what they want me to do. <laughs> Large orc skull. They want me to make iron ingots. Okay, well, Farewell, first things first. Friend. Let's go ahead and put our upgrade station back down. So we did have to take him down. Do I really not have enough wood? Really? Okay. I guess I am at least somewhat protected from them. Oh my gosh, I just realized I am over my hour. I am so sorry. Well, I guess we've got to call it good. I'll just put this down and I guess we'll call it quits for the day. I got so distracted while... Uh, building <laughs> which is not unusual for me that uh, I spaced it so let's put this down real quick um, and then I guess we'll call it good for the day no not the navigator okay well looks good to me we've got a good start so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please do all the things like subscribe, share, turn on your notifications. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye!